welcome to my channel mathematical clinic of subhash jha today we are going to discuss about one to one function or injective function injective is the synonyms of one to one i am going to draw a figure here figure of a function suppose it is a function f from set a to set b which maps 1 to 2 2 2 3 3 to 4 and here is one element 5 and the next one set b1 <coughs> this function is 1 to 1 because different element of domain has this set a is the domain set and this set b is the codomain set and inside the codomain set set of elements 2 3 and 4 is the domain set 1 this function is one to one function or injective function because different elements of the domain set have different images in the range set if different element of the domain set had has a different images in the range set then the function f is called the one to one function or injective function now i am going to write the mathematical model of this concept one as we know Suppose it is the function f, same function f from set to to set b. Here, I am going to take two general elements. First one x one and second one x two. As you know, function f measures x one to f x one with f x one. It means f x one is the image of x one. By the similar manner, f x two is the image of x two. So x1 will be linked with f x1, and x2 will be joined with f x2. <coughs> As I told you, this function becomes one to one if different element of domain has different images in the range. Different elements in the domain is what? Different elements means x1 is not equal to x2. They are different means x1 is not equal to x2. It means these are the different elements in the domain one. Gibbs. Different images in the range means f x one is not equal to f x two. So we come to the conclusion that a function f from set A to set B is said to be one to one or injective if for all x one x two belongs to A, x one is not equal to x two implies f x one is not equal to f x two. This is the mathematical model of the you know sentence I had pronounced. Different element of the Domain has different images in the range. Here also, different elements in the domain means x one is not equal to x two, and different images in the range means f x one is not equal to f x two. So similar things, similar concept has been expressed mathematically here. That is why again I am going to tell you a function f from set A to set B is one to one if For all x1, x2 in the domain A, x1 is not equal to x2 implies f x1 is not equal to f x2. <coughs> Now let us recall a word contrapositive. Contrapositive. In the symbolic logic, we had stated that the contrapositive of the statement P implies Q is Negation of P implies negation of Q. So this negation of Q implies negation of P. To take contrapositive means to interchange, you know, these two statement. The right hand side statement statement will be kept on left hand side, and left hand side statement will be kept on the right hand side, and negation should be taken. This is the contrapositive statement of the statement. P implies Q, and we had also. I stated that if P implies Q is true, then its contrapositive negation of Q implies negation of P is also true. It means the contrapositive statement of true statement is always true. Here also now now let us apply this concept to here in this definition one. Here also on the LHS x one is not equal to x two one statement V and on RHS f f x one is not equal to f x two that is just like a statement Q. So P implies Q is here, and because this is a definition, this one is the true statement. 
Now let us write its contrapositive statement. What will be the contrapositive? We will keep this RH right hand side statement on left hand side taking negation. What will be the negation of fx1 not equal to fx2? Its negation is fx1 equal to fx2. Let us keep it this statement on left taking negation. So we are able to write fx1 equal to fx2 implies do same thing take the lhs you know a statement x1 is not equal to x1 right taking negation so it will be x1 equal to x2 the negation of x1 not equal to x2 is x1 equal to x2 kept on the lhs it means we have taken the contrapositive of this statement just like the contrapositive of p implies q is negation of q implies negation of p same logic have been used here so we can say that now conclude it we can say that a function f from set a to set b is one to one if for all x1 x2 in domain a x1 fx1 equal to fx2 implies x1 equal to x2 in summary we are going to summarize it a function f from set a to set b is one to one or injective if for all x1 x2 in domain set domain set means the first set 1a fx1 equal to fx2 implies x1 equal to x2 now we apply this mechanism to justify whether the given function is one to one or not we simply take x1 x2 in the domain make fx1 equal to fx2 simplify the result if we will be able to write x1 equal to x2 then function will be one to one otherwise many to one the function is not one to one then it is many to one <coughs> once again i am going to tell you from the beginning uh, one to one means here you can say what the concept is, you know is hidden in the name one to one one to one means one to one it means no two elements have been linked with the single one one element have linked with one another has linked with another third has the link with third you know it means different elements have been measured to different elements in the range set function f is one to one if different elements in the domain it means different element in set a have different images in the range one i have just modified this by mathematical mathematical logic mathematical logic here different elements in domain means here we have taken x1 x2 in the domain one x1 and x2 are not open it means x1 x2 are any two elements of the domain one if they are different it means x1 is not equal to x2 their images must be different fx1 should not be equal to fx2 if the function is one to one but rather than writing this one you know uh, this definitions one we have applied its contrapositive contrapositive means we have taken the statement on right in left taking negation it means taking equal to and taken a statement on left on the right taking negation it means x1 is not equal to x2 has been taken on right taking negation it means x1 equal to x2 so in short we can say that function f from set a to set b is one to one if for all x1 x2 in domain a fx1 equal to fx2 fx1 fx1 equal to fx2 implies x1 equal to x2 now i think you are quite clear about the definition of the function one to one function now we are going to do some of the examples which will make the concept quite clear for example i am going to take the first example one a function f from set of real number to set of real number defined by defined by fx equal to twice x plus 3 let us check whether this function is one to one or not actually the mechanism to check one to one is you will make fx1 equal to fx2 let x1 and x2 belongs to domain of the function what is the domain here domain is set of real number x1 and x2 must be in the domain set there it was a uh, domain was set a here the domain of the function is a real number that is why we have taken x1 x2 in the domain 
domain means set of real numbers such that we take x1 x2 in the domain satisfying this condition one f fx1 equal to fx2 if this gives x1 equal to x2 then function is 1 to 1 if not then not 1 to 1 many to 1 now let us check cause fx is 2x plus 3 what will be the value of fx1 fx1 will be 2x1 plus 3 so here fx1 can be replaced by 2x1 plus 3 by same logic the value of fx2 will be fx2 will be 2x2 plus 3 let us replace fx2 by 2x2 plus 3 here 3 and 3 will be cancelled and in the next level 2 and 2 will be also cancelled so we will be left with x1 equal to x2 so we can we come to the conclusion that for all x1 x2 in the domain 1 fx1 equal to fx2 gives x1 equal to x2 and that is the definition of the 1 to 1 function so this function is 1 to 1 yes this function is 1 to 1 it is 1 to 1 in short i am going to tell you if it is a linear function linear function means a function defined on a linear expression one that always one to one a linear function is always one to one this this one is the method of checking one to one function now in short you can remember that linear function a function defined on the linear expression is always one to one now let us move to the another example Second example one is a function f again from set of real number to set of real number is defined by defined by fx equal to 2x square plus 3. Now let us check whether this function is 1 to 1 or many to 1. Uh, same logic we take x1 and x2 in the domain set here domain is set of real number let x1 and x2 belongs to the domain r such that what should be written fx1 equal to fx2 that was the definition we write fx1 equal to fx2 simplify it if we are able to write x1 equal to x2 function will be 1 to 1 otherwise many to 1 here we have written fx1 equal to fx2 cause fx is 2x square plus 3 value of fx1 becomes 2x1 square plus 3 similarly value of fx2 becomes fx2 becomes 2x2 square plus 3 2x2 square plus 3 3 and 3 will be cancelled in the next level 2 and 2 will be cancelled you will be left with x1 square equal to x2 square can this give x1 equal to x2 in general x1 square equal to x2 square gives x1 equal to plus minus x2 now let us think whether there is you know positive and negative both number available in the domain or not of course it is available cause if you you know if you think that one is there in the domain then minus one is also there so be concentrated here this is the major thing to be understood here uh, here x1 equal to plus minus x2 if both positive and negative numbers are available in the domain z it means even not more simply you know positive and negative numbers if the negative number of the positive number presented there is given in the domain so then the function will not be one to one for example here one is available and its negative minus one is also available two is available its negative minus two is also available 0 0.1 is available its negative minus 0 0.1 is also available and if you substitute x x1 equal to one take x1 equal to one and x2 equal to minus one then condition is satisfied cause whole is whole square of one is always equal to whole square of minus one once square is again 1 minus 1 square is also 1 so x1 square equal to x2 square is there it means fx1 equal to fx2 is there however this x1 is not equal to x2 1 is not equal to minus 1 so there are lot of such pairs 
whose images are same however they are not equal so this function is not one to one this is many to one function <coughs> once again i am going to tell you from the beginning here the function is defined from set of real number to set of real number to justify whether the function is one to one we must concentrate towards the domain set because x1 and x2 that you have taken is from the domain set one so there is the uh, role of domain set you must um, after, after the conclusion one towards the last one we must think towards the you know domain set one the first set one here we have you know passed passes pass, we have passed through the process one fx is given to be 2x square plus 3 we have taken two you know general uh, pre images x1 and x2 in the domain set made fx1 equal to fx2 a value of fx1 have fx1 have been kept here even value of fx2 have been kept here we have simplified them got x1 square equal to x2 but in general x1 square equal to x2 gives x1 equal to plus minus x2 and cause both positive and negative number are available in the domain set this function is not, not one to one in short i can say you that if function is quadratic function and domain consists of negative number of or number present there it means if one is present and minus one is also there then that function is not one to one but if would if, if it would be function f from positive real number to real number defined by same formula one then at last you could not you know write x1 equal to plus minus x2 because minus x2 is not available there if x1 is positive then minus x2 is not available there in that case the function would be one to one because if you would take you know x1 equal to one then minus one was not available there because the domain consists of only positive real number in this case the function is one to one but if real number then not one to one 